a programming environment which is out there. For instance, Cornerstone. If we go to Cornerstone, we are told that we should go to this path on our hard disk. And then when I go to Cornerstone now into external compare file tool or, or external compare tool, I hit shift command G to get this go to the folder menu. I'm already in that folder, so it doesn't change. Then select here KS diff, hit open and close the, uh, close the preferences. When I want to diff something now with Kaleidoscope, I just go to compare using KS diff, compare with last update and this file opens in Kaleidoscope or both files open in Kaleidoscope. You see this is in uh, library caches and this is on my desktop. But we can also configure for instance git which works on the command line tool uh, on the command line to be either using Kaleidoscope as exclusively as diff tool or just as an option as diff tool. For my purpose I want to go with the permanent thing. So when I go to the terminal now and I enter here git diff, you see a couple of changes here. And when I want to diff this using Kaleidoscope, I just enter git diff tool and the changes are opening right in Kaleidoscope. So as you've just seen, Kaleidoscope is a very versatile and flexible uh, diff tool. I really like how it displays where a change has been made in a piece of code and not just that there is a change so that, that I don't need to put like, like let's say more work into looking up where the change has been made but uh, it's really really straightforward just plain there's the change and then I can really just look what what has been changed and fix something. Um, I also like the idea of having these A, B kind of um, comparisons for pictures as well which is a pretty cool idea I believe and we have again some free licenses to give away to get them just comment on our blog retweet us on Twitter or write a blog post until next time see you later bye <laughs>